So in these recent times that I am experiencing, I have been forced to take a look at my spending and think, what am I no longer going to be spending my money on? So if you are new here, I am experiencing a layoff. <laughs> if you are not new here, you already know the business. And so I am going to be sharing with you guys 10 things that I have taken a look into and said, these are the things I'm no longer going to waste my money on because I truly and honestly can't afford it right now. So if you are in that season of your life where you just need to look at your spending and say, you know what, something's got to go, then this is the video for you. Now, I'm going to be talking about some things that may be a little bit unconventional for some, um, but for me, this is my life and, you know, I have to make sure that I'm not doing these things because I literally cannot waste my money on it. So if that's something that you're here for or want to hear or want to get some ideas on some things that you maybe didn't think about, then just go ahead and stay tuned. If this is your very first time here, my name is Jasmine, AKA Budget Treasures, and here on my channel, I talk about all things finance with emphasis on budgeting, saving money, and paying off debt. I have tons of videos on all of that, okay? <laughs> so you can take a look at the channel and, you know, peruse around. So let's hop right into it. I have a list of some things. One day I was driving and this was after I got the news about me being laid off and I was like, okay, these are some things that I really cannot do. And this is the reason why I thought about this very first thing I'm gonna talk about because I was riding dirty. So the very first thing that I cannot waste my money on is parking or traffic violations, traffic tickets, driving violations, parking tickets, anything that has to do with the car and the road, I cannot waste my money on that anymore. And the reason why I had to literally list this for myself is because I have spent, no lie, thousands of dollars on parking tickets, on, let me see, moving violations. So that's when the popo -po pull you over. Um, let me see what else not renewing my car registration on time, um, suspended license, um, car impound, uh, driving in the carpool with just one person. Like, I don't know if they have these rules or, you know, rules of the land for any other state, but here in California, listen, okay? <laughs> you better drive straight, you better not be speeding, you better stop at the stop sign all the way, or the police will pull you over. And so, I have pretty much experienced just about everything with the exception of DUI. Thank God I've never experienced that before. But everything else, I just about have. So I had to remind myself, okay, you cannot drive in the carpool lane if it's just you, okay? <laughs> if you are late, you really need to focus on getting places on time, which is the reason why I'm working on being on time. Um, because it's a lot of money so you guys may remember a couple of um vid a couple of years ago i did a video where i was crying and i talked about all this money that i had to pay to the dmv because i was trying to get my car registered but i couldn't get it registered until i took care of the parking well it wasn't parking tickets but it was like driving in the fast lane without having the um the, the transponder, which I had the transponder, but it wasn't working. I got kicked off and it was just a mess. Okay. And I had to spend literally all the money that I had in my savings just to get my car, um, my car tags. And I had to do that, of course, because I can't be riding dirty because then the police going to put me over and then I'm going to get a ticket for driving on a suspended register. And you know, it just goes on. So I committed to myself to make sure that I'm following the rules of the land <laughs> or the rules of the road and I am not speeding. I'm not doing anything that will cause the police to pull me over. I'm not talking on the phone when I'm driving or if I am, I'm using my car um, radio phone thingy or my AirPods. I'm, you know, hands free because it costs a lot of money, you guys. Like I said, I've spent thousands. I mean, I was driving in the carpool 
a, few, a couple of years back and the cops had saw me and I was like, oh my God, we're over. He pulled me over and I started crying because I was like, I can't afford this. And he was like, I'm gonna let you off. I'm gonna just give you a, what kind of ticket? I think he gave me a ticket for my tenant windows. He was like, I'm gonna let you off. But this is like a $500 ticket. But he gave me the ticket for my tenant windows and I was like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So, anywho. So that's the first thing I am no longer wasting my money on. So if that is you, if you can relate, follow the rules of the road, okay? The second thing I'm no longer spending my money on is coffee so if you guys know you may not know i don't know but i am a coffee drinker and i used to be the person who would go to starbucks or you know whatever coffee house Dunkin' donuts whatever just to have the cup in my hand and just say like i'm at starbucks or whatever and you know that whole feeling right um, I had to be honest with myself and just say, you know, I don't even like Starbucks, okay? It's nasty, it leaves a nasty aftertaste, I don't like it, and I'm spending all this money just to have the cup in my hand. So, I have, or I do drink, and I'm going to share with you guys the coffee that I drink. It's an instant coffee, and I buy it from the grocery store, and it's $3.99, and it lasts me for two weeks. So, let me share with you guys the coffee because I absolutely love it. This is the Taster's Choice um, <laughs> Hazelnut and it's instant coffee. And it comes with 16 little baggies here that I can use to make my coffee. I drink it every single day. It's so good. It keeps, it wakes me up. And I see this other viral coffee on um, TikTok, right? Or I see people drinking this. So I'm going to try this. I don't know how it is. Look, I'm like doing a plug. This is supposed to be a no spend <laughs> video, but this is a way that you can make 50 cups of coffee. And this was $7.99, which I think you can buy cheaper at Walmart, but I just want to try it out. I don't drink cold coffee. I drink my coffee hot. So like, look, you can, I bought both of these for about 10 bucks. And this is going to last me for about, I know this is going to last me definitely for probably two months. And then this is going to last me for two weeks. So it's definitely a way that I'm able to save money on coffee. So I really encourage that you look, if, even if it's not this, I encourage you to just buy coffee that you can make at home. You're going to make it better. You're going to make it exactly how you like it and you can save money so yes coffee the next thing that i'm no longer spending my money on is car notes okay um i absolutely despise having a car note and if you know me then you know i don't like car notes i feel like it's a waste of money um if you need a car definitely because i had to buy a car um but my goal was to pay it off as fast as i could the car my car note was like 400 and some odd dollars and i just felt like it was just a lot of money that i was paying out a month and so i really try my best not to um get into you know car notes if i can help it i'm pretty sure i will have another car note you know one another, one day of my life again but that is something that i have decided not to waste my money on as much as i possibly can avoid it um because it's a lot of money that i feel that i i personally would like to do something else with and then i want to go on to car repairs so one of the things that i also had to do start doing is take care of my car um get the car service when i'm supposed to get it service uh, there were times, a few times, where I would just drive my car, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, and I wouldn't put oil in the car, and boom, my engine is now out, and I need to either purchase another car if I don't want to spend money on the engine or get the engine fixed, and that's about thousands of dollars, we already know. So just not taking care of the car can cause bigger problems that cost more money so when i say car repair it's just not on the you know regular things but if there's something wrong with my car i need to take care of it right away so that i am not wasting my money 
on uh, the bigger problem because I didn't take time out to take care of the smaller problem and which this will lead into kind of the next thing this is like I don't know what number I'm on but I'm just going but I will say car repairs part B <laughs> it was part a part B the dealer I just went to the dealership to get my car service and they came out with this long list of things that I needed to do. And I think I told you guys that I needed to get some things done on my car, but they were like, yeah, you need this, this, and this. And I'm like, okay, well, I gotta get it done. So just go ahead and do it. But right before they got ready to do it, I talked to my friend and they were like, how much are they charging you? And I told them and they were like, way overpriced way overpriced tell them no and we'll go take care of those things somewhere else and so i told the dealer i was like you know what never mind just give me the regular service and i'll take care of my tires my brakes and everything somewhere else because they were definitely overcharging me in the labor it was a lot of money so i would really encourage you to ask them like how much is it for the parts and then how much is it for the labor and if you can get it done cheaper somewhere else then you want to go somewhere else like i was i'm like i didn't have any flat tires or anything so i can go get my tires done somewhere else i can go get my brakes done somewhere else and i'm gonna pay a fraction of what they were gonna charge me at the dealership so that is also something i'm no longer wasting my money on which is just having the dealer go ahead and do it and i'm coming out of the pocket like so much money so the next thing that i'm no longer spending my gas on i guess i'll just wrap up everything but the car is premium gas <laughs> i don't need premium gas there was a point in time in my life where i thought like if you put premium gas in your car baby you made it <laughs> right <laughs> When like, who knows if you have premium gas in your car or not. I guess it's through conversation when you tell people like, oh yeah, I get 91. <laughs> you guys have to excuse me. Yeah, some, some of the things, you just get to know me. So anyway, I decided that I do not need premium gas, especially in my car. Um, I drive a Toyota, so I don't need premium gas. I do believe that there are some cars that need it, my car is not the car that needs it. So, um, I use quality gas, I think, which is Costco. I love Costco gas. And so I am using um, just regular, unleaded, the cheaper gas because I don't need to have the premium gas personally for me and my car. And the next thing that I am no longer spending my money on, you guys are gonna be shocked but not really, <laughs> is perfume. So let me give you the disclaimer. I don't mean that I'm no longer gonna buy perfume. You guys know I love perfume. It makes me feel good just having a bottle. Like I am a part of the perfume girlies. I'm a part of the, the craziness and you know, I, I'm sure you guys have seen on Instagram or uh, not Instagram, maybe TikTok and you know, this whole perfume craze, I am her. Um, but I have decided to no longer spend full price on a bottle of perfume. I now know that you can get a lot of these bottles, probably every single one of them on a discount. And so I will, I, I now have made the decision to exercise patience and wait until that perfume goes on sale or if I can buy it on a site where they sell that perfume on discount, I'll do that. I'll wait for, you know, my birthday little plug <laughs> that comes and people give me gift cards and I can buy my perfume with the gift cards. Um, I can just request, if anybody wants to buy me anything, just give me, I just tell everybody, give me Nordstrom gift cards. Just buy me a Nordstrom gift card because, or just give me money and so I can go buy my perfume. <laughs> But um, yes, when it comes to perfume, I have decided to no longer spend full price on a bottle of the same perfume that you can get for cheaper. Um, so yes, so I will be buying perfume, but no longer wasting money and paying full price. So the next thing that I'm no longer wasting my money on 
is late fees. Late fees is really a killer. I know that you guys have heard this a million times, but sometimes we have to continue to keep saying it and reminding ourselves because I will tell you, um, when there are times when I do not follow my a system that I have in place for myself and my routine and I'm paying my bills not on my payday like I should be um, it really causes me to forget and then I might pay the bill late and then that $30 or $25 or $10 how much ever the fee is is tacked on and it's really literally like a waste of money and it adds up that is one of the reasons why I love auto pay because uh, your payment is made automatically and as long as you're budgeting and you have enough money in your account you should be fine um but i really do not want to pay late fees especially now in what i'm going through and i'm looking for other means of you know money I'm, well i'm getting a severance and all that but i still have to look at my spending so i am making sure that i'm not spending money on late fees i will be doing my daily routine my weekly routine my payday routine making sure that i'm making my payments um to bills on my payday so i'm not wasting my money on that anymore the next thing that i'm no longer wasting my money on is unused memberships now um i do have a couple of memberships and some of my memberships are a lot like i can tell you one of my memberships or annual fee that i have to pay is the um, clear for the airport so i really want to make sure that i'm traveling it, well excuse me let me back up if i'm not going to be traveling then i don't want to spend that money it is an annual fee but still um it's not cheap um but any membership that i'm paying monthly I am taking a look at those memberships and I'm making sure that I'm not wasting my money because it all adds up over time. So right now, I don't think that I have any, but I want to make sure that I'm not wasting my money on it. I have dates that I have set in my calendar that reminds me um, that I need to cancel certain memberships, especially the um, those TV memberships, um, you know, especially those. So make sure that you're always looking at your recurring. And one that I wanna remind you is look at your Apple ones. Because if you don't have your Apple, those memberships coming out of your checking account, and let's say you have an Apple card, then it's very easy to uh, bypass those memberships. So always take a look in your Apple memberships and go over everything it is that you're paying for. And you may want to cancel some of them, especially if you're not using. And the last thing that I will no longer waste my money on is food. And let me be specific. I will go to the grocery store, I will buy food and I will waste it in a sense of, let's say I put the meat in the refrigerator, I'll take the meat out and then I won't cook it and it'll get bad in the refrigerator. Like I do it more often than I literally should. So you guys are probably asking like, well, what are you eating? Sometimes I just won't eat. Now that's bad too, right? That is bad too. Or I'll cook something and I guess it wasn't all that great because I wouldn't even eat the food that's like I literally did this the other day like I cooked some ribs and I cooked some macaroni and cheese and I think I ate a couple other ribs I left the macaroni and cheese out because I was too lazy to go downstairs and put it up and the macaroni and cheese went bad and and the meat I just didn't even eat it because I don't know I just get in those moods and it's really bad because I'm literally wasting my money <laughs> and I get mad at myself and I'm like why did you even take the food out you should have just not cooked or you shouldn't have cooked all of it you should have took half of the meat out and cooked it and then you know did you know just really focus on not wasting the food so that's something that i'm really going to be focused on separating the food out because it's just me and my daughter sometimes she doesn't eat what i'm eating so i'm making all this food and then it just goes to waste so i know some people have a lot of people in, in the home and that's well i mean it's good and bad right it's 
great because everybody's eating so you're not wasting your money but then of course you know you have to spend a lot more money on food but then it's also bad when it's only you and you cook too much and then the food goes to waste so I'm really going to be laser focused on not doing that. And of course, because I, doesn't, I don't have a job right now, I have more time to be mindful of these things. Very mindful, very paying attention, very thoughtful <laughs> on what I'm doing. <laughs> but that pretty much sums up my list. I want you guys to put down in the comments, like what are some things that you are no longer wasting your money on? It may have even changed from the beginning of the year till now. Um, what are some things that you just noticed that you are literally just wasting your money? Put it down in the comments because I do believe that we can all learn from one another and what we're wasting our money on. Um, Cause just a quick note, one of the things that I learned was those beads, those uh, laundry beads. And I decided that I wasn't going to waste my money on that this year. And I haven't bought any all year. And because they don't really work. And you're spending all that money for those beads. And the, the clothes don't come out smelling like the beads. So I digress. <laughs> um, so definitely leave down in the comments some things that you are no longer wasting your money on. And I will see you besties in the next video. If you are not subscribed, please make sure that you guys subscribe. We are trying to get to 100K, okay? I know we're a little far from it. We're like 30K, a little bit more than 30K far, but the goal is 100. So, you know, of course the next goal is 70, but the goal is really 100 before 2025. And I really think that we can get there. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and showing your support and your love. I love you guys to pieces. And I will see you in the next video. Go be Gary Besties. Peace out.